We're going streaking! Woo! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Bad Cube Sun Surge. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Uh, not a whole lot going on here. It's Bad Cube logo, Warrior Sun Surge, Bad Cube Robots All Timer Series, Justice Force. On the side, you have a picture there: of Sun Surge, Justice Force. On the other side, you just have. Sun Surge on the top, the Bad Cube logo on the bottom, Sun Surge on the back of the box. You have a piece of artwork there of Sun Surge in his robot and alt modes. And of course, your warning, don't eat anything in this box. Don't do that. Why would you? That's just weird. Don't, don't do that. That's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the obligatory third-party collector's card right there with that piece of artwork of Sun Surge. On the back you have a picture of Salt Mode. You have a bio there if you want to read it. No contest, I am the best. Ooh, yeah. And there you have his tech specs. So woo! Cards. You also get another card. A very masterpiece-esque collector's card right there with a bunch of stuff in Japanese, which I'm assuming is the bio. Tech specs as well. And there you have that. So moving right along, here we have Sun Surge, which is Bad Cube's take on a masterpiece Sun Streaker. It's pretty cool. I do quite like this guy. Getting close here so you can see the details. Got some nice silver here on the headlights, of course, since, you know, they don't have the rights to use the Lamborghini logo. It's just a little black spot right there, but hey, Reaper Label can fix that. A little bit of silver right up front here. He does have chromed rims. Which is nice. Some black paint apps here and there. Got the chromed out intakes right there. Chrome spoiler. Again, got the chromed rims on the back. There's a little piece of chrome right here. And you also get some silver and red there for those rear lights. Underside, you can see, you know, the faux, uh, the faux windshield for robot mode. But everything conceals pretty well. So, there you go. The tires are rubber. Rubber tires, which is a good or a bad thing, depending on what your preferences are. It does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for that. Um, the side view mirrors are made of a soft plastic. You can see I kind of bend them around a little bit. So I would still say be careful with them, but at least you don't have to worry about them snapping too much. So there you have that. And for a comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. And as you can see, they're pretty much identical. Um, Size-wise, get up here just a little bit. Size-wise, they are basically uh, identical. I think Sun Surge might be a little bit, a little bit longer, like a hair longer. But other than that, they are pretty much identical, size-wise. So, there you have that. So... If you have Sideswipe, then you already know how he scales with everything else. So, there you have that. Now, as far as an alternate display option, um, you can display him with all these chrome parts if you want. But if you don't want, you do get optional uh, just silver painted parts right here. So, you get the intakes just painted in silver. You also get four silver painted rims right here. You can see how they work. They're just they're just uh, clip on, right there, and you also get a silver painted spoiler. So you can swap all of this out, and just have silver painted parts as opposed to the chrome parts. I think I will swap um, all of this out for the silver painted parts just so it will match. Because on side swipe, you can see it's just silver painted. It's not uh, it's not chromed. So I think I'm going to swap, um, swap these pieces out for the silver, uh, the silver painted ones just for the sake of them matching more. I don't know. But again, it's your toy. You can display it however you wish. But it's still nice that they included the optional parts. Um, swapping this stuff out is very easy. Like I said, the wheels, um, you just pull off the tire. And, you know, as you can see here, the wheels are just, you know, clipped on. So you just pull the wheel off, put the new, uh, put the new rim in. 
put the tire back on, you're good to go. With the uh, intake right here, you just undo these two screws right there. That pops right out, put the other one on, screw it back together. And with the uh, spoiler, whoop, throwing my focus all off, hey, hey. With the spoiler, um, there are two screws underneath this black piece right here. And you just undo those two screws and you can swap out the spoiler. So. And there are nice instructions for swapping out everything in the instruction manual, which is nice. You also do get a screwdriver. They even include a little screwdriver, which is very nice, very considerate. And you get a little baggie here of extra screws, which, again, very considerate. I appreciate that. So there you have that. So, yeah, he does also include his weapon right here. This is his, uh, his gun for robot mode. You can see you just fold this up. He has these two little side rockets that just peg on right there. And it can store on the top of the vehicle mode right there. There's a little slot right there. Stab it on and voila. Storage! Yay! So, there you go. Now he does include a partner, if you will. You get Fry! Which is basically Chip from G1. <laughs> His little wheelchair. And a pretty neat little figure. And oops. Although he does come apart very easily. We'll take a look at Chip here. Pretty cool. I mean, it's not the best sculpt, but again, it's a very small figure. They did paint his glasses at least. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Work with me, Chip. Work with me. There you go. I mean, it's not the cleanest sculpt you can see. Some of it, you know, looks a little on the mushy side. So definitely not the best little human figure. But hey, you know, he can, he can kind of turn his head. He can rotate his arms 360. Legs can go forward and back. He can bend his leg. His legs can pop off. See, that's why he needs a wheelchair. <laughs> Speaking of wheelchair, here's the wheelchair. Again, not the uh, cleanest crispest Crispus? Is that even a word? The <laughs> most crisp sculpt? I don't know if I'm using any of that properly. Grammar! But anyway, um, yeah, the wheelchair just looks, the sculpt looks kind of kind of mushy. You can kind of see here, like, this, the, the top part of the seat is actually kind of, like, angled sideways. <laughs> like, it's not even straight, which is weird. So, yeah. Nice silver paint on it, but, yeah, the, the, the sculpt is kind of kind of mushy looking. And uh, just for a comparison, here he is with the uh, with the spike that came with MP10. It's like, eh, about the same height, right there. So he can sit in his wheelchair and hack stuff. There you go. There he is, just for scale with Sun Surge. So there you go. <laughs> Little chip, the chipper. The chipmeister. All right, so let's get right down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing you want to do is you want to come to the hood section here. You want to bring it up and just get off these clips right here. Bring that up like that. You're going to then uh, untab the doors here and bring those out and up a little bit. Same thing over here. Bring that out, just angle that up a little bit. You want to take the intakes here, untab that, just bring that up. And you want to come back here, and these side panels are going to swing out like that. And there you go. Now, at this point, you can split the uh, spoiler here. And rotate it like this. And that gives you clearance to take this whole assembly here. Swing this up. And this whole roof assembly will also come with it. Just bring this up like that. And then you can rotate this around like that. And then there's a double hinge right here. You want to make sure the intake is all the way back like that. And you want to take this and fold this up. And this will sit right up flush like that. Let me move things up a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing because I'm sure that would be helpful. So once you have that up like that, you bring this section down on this hinge right here. Bring that down. 
you want to flip this chrome piece down and then flip this up right here like that and this tab right here will go into that slot right there like that and you pretty much have the backpack all done these pieces will get to in a little bit so now we've done that you want to come down here and you want to split the legs right here and you can take this whole assembly with his head his head is like right yeah that's that's a little awkward head placement right there that's that's yeah that's hmm that's yeah anyway so take this whole assembly just swing it up get it out of the way and we'll get going with the legs so now this front assembly right here I'm just going to take and bring out on this double hinge right there and then you can just bring the foot down on that ball joint, push out the heel spur. You're going to take this section right here, slide it in like that. And then this will come up and just clip over this little molded bar right there like that. You're going to take the side window, flip that in, take this whole door section, rotate it around and push it right in. You'll see there's a little tab that goes into the notch right there. So you know it's in the right spot. Let's push that in right there. Then you can take this panel right here, bring that down to fill in the gap. And then you can just bring that foot up a little bit, close this up, and there you got a leg all done. Second verse, same as the first. Bring that foot out. Down a little bit. You can flip out that heel spur. And again, I pretty much did it by accident, but then you take this. Shift it in, bring that up, and we'll clip on. Put that window down, rotates, push that in right there. Flip this panel down, fill in the gap, close up the foot right there, and there you got the legs all done. So now you want to take the waist and rotate it like that. And now we have to raise the camera up a little bit again. So, now you want to take the spoiler here. You just want to kind of bring these together and bring them up. Like that, just to get things out of the way. You're going to take this section right here. And you're going to rotate it sideways like that. Now you're going to bring the arm out. Rotate it down. Extend it down the rest of the way. Open up this panel right here, flip out the hand, close it back up, and then you want to take this little shoulder piece here and just strain it out, like that, and there you got an arm all done, second first, same as the first, rotate to this assembly right here, bring that out, bring it around, bring the arm down, open this up, Put the hand, close it up, and then put up the little shoulder pauldron, and there you have that. So now with this assembly right here, you're just going to take it, swing these down like that, and there's you can see there's a hinge right here and a hinge right here. So you want to take this section here and you want to fold it down at the top hinge first, as far as it'll go, and then bring it down on this hinge to finish compressing it and I just made them shrink <laughs> right there and you want to make sure that these um, that the spoilers angled back here you want it like that basically with that tab facing backwards so everything fits in there the way it's supposed to so once you've done that you take these side sections here they're on a double hinge you just shift them up like that <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry so then you want to take the backpack. There is a tab right here that will go into let me see, a tab right here that will go into a slot right there. So you just bring that up and tab that in right there. And this panel right here will flip down and will sit in this little clip right there. And that'll sit right there. In like fact. Now these pieces right here, you want to flip this down. 
And there's a slot right here that will go over this tab right there. And that will lock those shoulders in place. Same thing over here, flip it down. Bring it over that tab. There you go. All nice and secure. So there you have that. Everything straight. Now this section right here, you just want to take these side panels and just bring them up. So you sit in the proper place. Take this section right here with his head. Just bring his head down. Take this, split it. It's on a double hinge, so you want to make sure it comes out all the way. Like that. And then you bring it down. So it sits flush with everything else. I think we got it. There we go. And then you bring this up, and uh, these two tabs right here will go into these slots right here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. And uh, these posts right here will go into the ports right there. So just bring that up. Let's get everything lined up. And then just push it down. It helps to just kind of get your thumb under this wheel right here, and then just push just squeeze it like that, and that helps get everything nice and secured. Right there. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. We're done. Woo! So there we go. There we have Mr. Sun Surge in his robot mode. And that, that looks like the Sun Streaker, all right. <laughs> but I dig him. I like him. I think, I think it looks really cool. So getting close here on the head sculpt. Nice head sculpt. Like the silver paint there. I think they got the ears right. Very nicely done. Of course, it does have the faux chest here, which I'm sure a lot of people will complain about, but I don't care. It doesn't bother me one bit. And I like that the windshield here is actually a, a, a blue color as opposed to the, uh, you know, the mildly tinted color that it's in in, uh, in alt mode. So there you have that. But yeah, overall, very nicely done. Very nice design. Right there. Everything comes together very nicely. Backpack is a little, little jumbly, but you know, it's the backpack. Who cares? You're not going to see it. <laughs> like I always say, I don't display my figures facing the wall, so I don't care what the back looks like. But there you go. He's pretty cool. In my opinion, anyway. Now, articulation-wise, his head can do a full 360. He can look all the way up for full squirrel. He can totally do that. And he can look he can look down a little bit. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can get some nice range of movement there. Of course, full 360. You can also use a transformation joint right there if you need some extra, you know, movements. You have that, and that's on a, a soft ratchet right there. You do have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which is nice. Uh, wrist swivel, the hands can open and close. You do have a waist swivel, uh, legs can go forward. These panels can are in hinges so they can move out of the way. Legs can go all the way forward. They can go back that far, pretty much do the full splits. Got a thigh swivel, double jointed knee. And both joints are ratcheted, which is nice. You get a nice full range of movement there at the knee. And the feet are on a uh, ratcheted hinge right here. It's very, I don't know if you can hear it, very soft ratchet. But it ratchets. You can move up and down. And it's also, open this up so you can see it, and it's also on a ball joint right there. So you can pretty much get it to tilt up, tilt down, get some good tilt out of it. You can also adjust his height. If you want to make him a little bit shorter, you can just push that up. If you want him a little bit taller, you can just pull the foot down. So, there you have that. So, yeah, pretty poseable. Get him. Get his feet. I like to extend his feet all the way, personally. But, again, you can make him as tall or as short as you want, because you have the option. Right there. So, of course, he can hold his weapons. You can take these little side rockets off if you want to. 
Just slip out this handle. And it's the typical, you know, Masterpiece-esque style handle with the tabs on either side. And he has the slot in his palm. You just take it, tab it on, close it up. And he holds it pretty secure. You shake him around, you won't drop it. And you also have these rockets right here, and you can actually take one, or you can take both of them if you want. But well, these panels are a little bit of a pain in the butt to get open. There we go. Put his hand back in, and this will just go right onto that tab right there, and give him the rocket hand if you want. So. An alternate display option, or you can just leave them on the gun, if you want. But there's also storage on the backpack here. There are these two posts right here. So you can take them and plug them on here. Like that. So it kind of gives them a little rocket pack. Totally up to you. And you can also store the gun back here, if you wish. You do have to take this uh, one of the rockets off. You can take the gun, and there's a port right here, and you can take it and just peg it onto the backpack like that. And then I guess you can just take the uh, other rocket here and just plug it onto the, uh, to the free peg there. There you go. So you can store everything on him, which is nice. It's appreciated. Me, personally, I think I'm just going to do this with everything. Just leave those back there. Had those hanging out back there. Just have him holding his gun. I think that's how I'm going to do things. That's just me. But again, as always, your toy. Display it however you want. Get his hand back out. And there you go. Now he does have an alternate face, which is nice. Of course, right here you're just going to get the, uh, you know, the serious face sculpt. But you do get an alternate face here with... Uh, a little smirk. He's smiling. He's happy. He's proud of himself. <laughs> and to swap out the face, it's not really that easy. You have to lift his head up and it just kind of, it, it pegs on and it just doesn't really work. I can never do it with my fingers. I always have to kind of get in here with my tweezers here and just kind of pry it up and pray I don't break anything. There you go. <laughs> Give me your face. Ah, That's disturbing. Anyway, once you do that, you can see it's just two two pegs right there. And you just plug that on. Right there. There you go. And now he's smiling. Hooray. <laughs> so, there you have that. So, yeah. All around, though. Pretty, pretty cool. Trying to get his feet situated here. There you go. Now for comparison. Here he is with Masterpiece side swipes. You can see them side by side. Right there. And they look good together. I think they do. I think they really look good together. And as you can see, that's why I this is why I, I you know extend the feet down because if you kind of push him up all the way, he ends up being a little bit shorter. <laughs> and when you bring him down. They're the same height, which I believe they're supposed to be the same height, so. That works for me. But yeah, they look good together. I dig it. I dig it very, very much. Reunited and it feels so good. So you have that. Um, here he is with MP10. Again, he's the same size as Sideswipe, so if you have Sideswipe, you already know how he scales with everybody else. But, you know, just give you a little brief idea here. And just compare them with some of Bad Cube's other stuff. There he is with their brawn. See how he looks there. There he is with their huffer. There you have that. And here he is with their warpath. Right there. See, pretty much the same height as warpath. Maybe like a hair shorter than warpath. So there you have that. So yeah, Sun Surge. I dig him. I think he's cool. Um, I know there is another um, third-party Sun Streaker coming out. Um, it looks good, but you know, for me, I I went with Bat Cube because I just I thought theirs looked 
better. I mean, in my opinion, I just felt like this one suited my tastes a bit more than, uh, than the other one that's coming out. But again, hey, it's your money. You buy whichever sunstreaker suits your taste. This one personally suited mine. So, um, Overall, I think it's a good figure. Um, I, I've, I've seen a lot of people in comment sections in other people's reviews talk about, oh, that transformation looks so complicated. Oh, it's over-engineered. Like, uh, honestly, to me, the transformation is pretty straightforward. You're not really doing anything all of that intricate. Everything is pretty much, you know, th the most difficult thing you're doing is compressing that little bit with the spoilers that's the most intricate thing you're doing in this transformation everything else is pretty straightforward it's just like unfold legs unfold arms fold up backpack you know it, it you're not really doing anything all that complicated this is a transformation i can remember honestly <laughs> Like, down the line, I could still pick this up and still remember how to transform it. If you asked me to transform this guy right now, I wouldn't know what to do. I've already forgotten how to transform this guy because this guy, I love this figure, but this figure is complicated. Like, if I wanted to transform this guy again, I would have to bust out the instructions because this was complicated. Um, this is a transformation you had to practice <laughs> to have it memorized. Um, but this guy, like... The transformation is pretty straightforward. Like, I could see myself, you know, taking this down off the shelf, like, a month from now and still remembering how to transform it. I mean, so to me, it doesn't really come off all that complicated. Oh, let's bring in Chip here. There he is with Chip. Or Fry, <laughs> as they call him. But, yeah, all around, though, I think it's a very cool figure. I dig it, but again, there is another third-party Sunstreaker coming out there, so options! Ain't nothing wrong with that, so. There you go, so if you would like a Sun Surge or any of Bad Cube's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Bad Cube cube sun surge and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be a geek be proud palm in your face hey sideswipe what's been up with your brother lately uh, i don't know prime it seems like he's been developing kind of an ego oh oh man that was awesome Geez, Sunstreaker, you didn't have to go and rile those Decepticons up like that. What'd you say? Uh, excuse me, what? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I gotta go follow that. Well, sometimes you gotta go all out when you're the Streaker and you can't help it, you know? Because there's only one Streaker. Primus picks him, hand plucks him. He looks down at those millions and millions and millions of bots and he picks out the best. And that was me. And he plucked me from all those millions and millions and millions of bots, man. Listen, there's two things you need to know. I'm the Streaker. And number two is, look out, man! Here I know they're coming at you. That's called karate, man. Only two types of people know it. Ninjas and the streak. And one of them is me. Yeah, you're, you're the streak. Yeah, that's right, you got it. Look out, man! <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you guys later, man. I gotta go get re-lubed. I'm feeling kind of dry. Later! You see what I'm talking about? I really don't see what the problem is. Mm -hmm.